episode of Absolutely Long Island. Cheers to the weekend. We are drinking a Gorstraminer today. Um, it's very warm out. Thought this would add a little bit to chill us down. So tasty. It's good. It's not too sweet. I like a Gorstraminer that isn't too sweet. But anyway, today we're talking about an important topic, and I'm sure some of the women who have watched this show can relate to. It's how to know the signs of how to know when you're about to be dumped by a guy. God, I have been hit with shit. So now my sister was dumped a couple of days ago. So she kind of ignored some of the signs, so it was a shock. And so we're talking today is so it won't be a shock to you. Exactly. So you can prepare for this because it's traumatic. May I come in, Joe? I've stopped crying. I'm all right again. Joe, tell me you're not cross. Tell me everything is just as it was, Joe. Right. So what are some of the signs? One of the signs are when you get a text message from the man that you're dating and he's saying someone else's name. Hey Meg, hey, hey cat. What did you call me? What? what you, I said hey cat. You said hey Meg. No, I didn't. You just called me Meg. I didn't call you Meg. Why would I call you Meg? I don't even know him, Meg. Did you just call me Meg? No, I called you cat. I said hey cat. Are you seriously trying to cover that? <laughs> Catherine, I I called you cat. No, you didn't. Yes. No, you didn't. Yes. No, you didn't. Oh my God, stop. No, you didn't. Stop. <laughs> That so exactly that's a definite happened. sign. That's a that's, definite sign so because that, that means that they're dating multiple people and they're dating enough people that they're getting confused. Right. And they're sending, and they're sending it out. Text right. Message. right. So that's number so one. So like that's a definite. But there are other ones that aren't as prominent, right. I would say. So what are some right. of the other ones? Another one is the texting back and forth, the, the velocity of the texting. Um, how many texts you're getting a day, if it goes from five down to one or two, when you text somebody back, if you were immediately getting an answer in like 30, 40 minutes, and it goes to three or four hours, you know something is up. So then I said, fine, just do it, and now I have to go get plan B. Maybe he didn't get the message. Should I text him again? Maybe he lost his phone. He could be on the subway. Am I ugly? What if his grandma died? Oh my god, did he smell that fart? I don't understand. Maybe he's jerking off? Wait, maybe he slept with someone else after I left. Screw Mike. Something is coming and something is awry, clearly. And what about the language in the text? Also the language. If they're just talking about minutia, like the weather and this and that and the other thing, and nothing significant, um, you know, not like, oh, I had a really great time with you last time, I'm looking forward to seeing you again. If it starts to get to be like you're talking to a friend, then you know, unfortunately, it's just not going in the right direction. Right. So, so the language just kind of changes a little bit. The language changes a little bit. Okay. And, and what then, else? What else? Um, this is, I think, most key. The uh, key. The key, okay. key. So when a man asks you for plans a couple of days in advance, say on a Tuesday, Wednesday, so what's going on for the weekend? Would you like to get together? Blah blah blah. Then Wednesday goes by, Thursday, Friday. Here it is Friday night, the weekend is upon us. You've been seeing him every weekend and there is no asking for plans whatsoever. Oh, well, what do you feel like doing tonight? I don't know, Edge. What do you feel like doing? I say to you, what do you feel like doing tonight? And you say back to me, I don't know what do you feel like doing tonight. Then we wind up sitting around your house with a couple of cans of beer watching a hit parade on television. So you know it's coming very, very Within closely. days. Within days. Within days, because he's probably seeing someone else that Saturday night. Right. Which is why he didn't ask you for So plans. normally, if they're really interested, yeah. they want to secure the weekend with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. But Absolutely. if they're kind of moving off that significance, maybe they met somebody else or whatever, right. then they're moving away from they're securing. Moving away it's from more like, let me see if she can make it first right. before they ask you. Right. right? They're keeping okay. you on the hook. Go, Bobby, go! Go! Dying a look down. She's gonna stop very soon. Look at this. 
Come on, full lock. Full lock, she's going nowhere. Fully stop her. Fully pull the back. Fully backwards. Fully pull the back. Um, with the texting here, there, whatever. So they're not completely losing you, but yet you're kind of losing them and they're losing interest. And it's pretty obvious when they're not looking to make sure they can see you. Um, Cause everyone's really busy. So you do have to make plans in advance. Right, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what else? Another what else? thing oh, is they go, they say they're going away on business. Oh, I've heard this. You know. you know, you gotta wonder if it's really true because exactly. what this has happened to you what five, six times? About five times. Every time I'm with someone and they go away on business, a it's conference the or this, I rarely ever see them again. Ira! Come back here, Ira! I'll come back for you! You promise? I'll send the boat back for you! When? Soon! How soon? Very soon! And I've had it happen to me numerous times and I think the next time I date someone and they're telling me they're going away I'm just going to give the goodbye test <laughs> you know have a great time you know be well take care yeah because I know it's coming so do you think it's because they have time to think when they're away because they're away from you for a couple of days or yeah. do you think it's just a lie either or I think sometimes it's a lie and maybe they're spending time with someone else and so that's their, you're not going to hear from me right. like you normally is because I'm going away on vacation. Right, I, I'm right. on vacation or I'm on business and I'm really busy. And I think then they're talking to someone else and trying to solidify that right. relationship before you get the dump. Because a lot of men won't dump you unless there's somebody waiting in the wings. Right, That's just yes. the way they are. They like to have the backup. <laughs> um, uh, the other thing is uh, when they tell you that they're off the dating site, so say you met somebody on Match or whatever, and then a couple of dates in, they casually throw into the conversation, oh, by the way, you know, I'm not on the site anymore. A couple of days later, a week later, you see that they're still on the site. Ah! ah. <laughs> and you know that because they looked at your profile. So you know that that was a lie. So that's trouble. So that's trouble. Right, so if you see them go on when they deliberately say they go off. Right then that's a definite sign that something's going on. They're not satisfied with you. Right. They're now back out there looking for somebody else. Right. Okay. Or they can be satisfied, but they, they want to see greener, greener pastures. You know, I think men are always looking for the next best thing. Mm, what made you come around? I love you so much. I love you so much. So I think if they're happy with you, and they think maybe there's something better out there, Right. Maybe there's somebody younger, prettier, thinner, somebody that lives closer to me. So um, that's a problem. And, so and you also problem. said that this time around, unfortunately, mm -hmm. you broke some of your golden rules of dating, exactly. which you may not have been suffering from this dumping right, right. now if you had listened to your, exactly. your golden rules. Yep. So for everybody out there, she has some really good golden rules. Yeah. And the, the one rule is, and I have been burned so many times over the years, so I no longer date separated men. Separado. And this particular man who just gave me the dump was separated. But when men are separated and they've been in a bad marriage for many years, all they want to do is go from flower to flower to flower and pollinate. Yeah, I, I think that's very true. I think, like you said, it's like being set loose. And, you know, how many people can I possibly see? I've waited 20 years for this. Right, right. I am going to go crazy. This exactly. guy that, that um, dumped you, I think, ridiculous. Right. You know, yeah. it's totally insane, texting five times a day, and then all of a sudden, take care, goodbye. Yeah, yeah. See and, ya. And, and, and doing yeah. the mosting, do the yeah. most beautiful thing. You be careful when they you say know. that, because they all start with, you're beautiful, you're, you're fantastic, thing. you're an amazing person, I can't believe I found you. Right. <gasps> oh, don't move. Your eyes, your lips. Why, you're beautiful. <laughs> And then, like, a couple of weeks later, it's like, who? What? Where? Yeah. What? Exactly. Yeah. Who? And that's yeah. how I got it, you know, the other yeah. day. It was just like, okay, take care. Yeah. 
and I felt like I had a knife in my back because here I am thinking of fun things to do with him, you know, for the remainder of the summer and trying to come up with, you know, right. fun things. You have everything planned in your mind and you're expecting things and then boom, done, never to hear from him again. But, but anyway, so ladies, we're going to end this episode, but just be prepared. If any of you see any of those things happening right. to you, just be on the lookout. Just be aware and don't make any long-term plans, you know, think, uh-oh. And just be prepared because there's nothing worse than getting hit with a shock like that. So just be prepared that it could be coming and stay true to yourself and try, I tell her all the time, try not to let this bother you because it's not you, it's really them. Uh, everything that guy just says, bullshit. Thank you. They're still figuring this stuff out. They're still trying to pollinate the world. Exactly. And so don't be a part of that pollination. Wait until they're out in the world for a little while. Wait until they're done with being separated, divorced, and playing the field. Then you have a better chance of a relationship. Right. Timing is really key in terms of relationships. So, so ladies, have a wonderful week. Um, keep drinking. It helps. Oh! Oh, no! Oh! Oh! And so we will see you on the next episode. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.